Okay, I found the site that I like to go to. It's called spaceweather.com. For some, I'm going to add it to my favorites. So I just don't remember. Okay. And what it tells you is it gives you the readings from November 13th. Um, CME impact. It tells you the prediction. Uh, so there was a coral mass ejection that happened on November 12th at approximately 6 Zero six zero zero UT. The impact caused ground currents in Norway and a brief flurry of auroras around the Arctic Circle. Had little effect, no big geomatic storms in the offing yet. Tonight at one o'clock, something told me something was coming up from the south. So obviously, that stuff hasn't updated yet. So I should say coral mass ejection coming up from the south. I mean, in my title. This is how I get my wording for my titles and my keywords for my videos and my blogs. Okay, brand filament. A filament of magnetism more than 700,000 kilometers long is curling around the sun's northeastern one. Masses, solar. Check it out. What's this thing here? Something's going on there. It's weighed down by solar plasma. If it erupts, as such filaments are prone to do, it could fall to the stellar surface below, setting off an explosion called a hydro flare. Hmm. Huh. Ooh, not pretty. Oh, well, that's gorgeous, eh? Wow. That's an aurora if I ever saw one. But this says it can cause cause a hydro flare. Intense brightening that occurs in the solar chromosome. You know what? Something happened today when I was filming in Welland. It was really weird. Um, I got outside and I could not videotape anything because it was just like a bright light. Like everything was bright light. And it was like weird because I've always been able to videotape outside with my old, my old uh, camera, which I'll be uploading those videos probably within the next couple of days. And, uh, yeah, this thing is called Current Aurora Oval. Shows you where all the auroras are. And coronal holes. Shows you where the coronal holes are. Recent and upcoming Earth's asteroid encounters. It tells you your close, close encounters. Um, it, it forecasts right now November 8th. We had the YU55. And we have another one coming on November 15th. 9.9 LD, 11. They don't tell you the mag. One on 109 meters. What? Missed distance. Oh, missed distance. Okay, so they highlight the ones that are coming close to Earth. And this one here, the 2000 YA, that was in 2000, 2.9 LD. Okay. So it tells you the lunar distance. LD means lunar distance. One lunar distance equals 384,401 kilometers. The distance between Earth and the Moon. Okay, so if it's one LD, that's to the Moon. So anything less than the Moon, like the 2005 YU55, then that means it's between us and the Moon, which is pretty scary if you think about it. And a lot of people say that it just barely missed us. The funny thing is, is that I videotaped that event for like 12 hours <laughs> thinking I had the asteroid on my camera. I was all excited about it. Don't be here. I didn't really read the details about it till after I did all the videotaping. And I found out I was videotaping the sun, uh, the moon. And that the red round thing it was supposedly some sort of lens reflection from my camera. So this thing that I thought was the asteroid was actually my lens for my camera, so this is a newbie <laughs> video taper here, so I felt kind of silly. So anyways, here's the NOAA forecasts. Oh, November 12th at 2200 UTC, so that'd be like 11 o'clock, no, sorry, 10 o'clock, right? Yeah. The flare is within 0 to 24 and then 24 to 48 hours so it's now we're in the 24 to 48 hour so the class M flare action is 20% but yesterday it was 40% and then the class
class X is down to 0.1%. The class M is going to cause some sort of disruption, disruption. And I noticed that tonight when we were watching Big Bang Theory um, during the commercials for the um, dish satellite. It uh, did a funky little wavy thing in it. And that's the one way you can tell that there's some sort of solar activity going on is that it will affect your TV, your satellite uh, TV shows. Class X is actually bad. If you get a Class X flare, you could lose power wherever it, it hits on the Earth. And so far, it seems to be hitting in Europe and affecting their power grids. Um, a stronger one would affect North America's, which they were predicting for 2012.